We see it all the time. People claiming to be on this miracle diet, losing 10 kilograms in two weeks. And although this is very impressive, the question we should be asking is, how does rapid weight loss like this affect our body? In this quick video today, we will have a look at how much weight should you really lose per week. If you're new to the channel, my name is Stefan, I have my honors degree in biokinetics and I approach weight loss in a very scientific manner with my clients. Say you've gained 30 kilograms in the last three years. Can you lose it all in just a few weeks? Is it possible? Is it healthy? Let's dive into the science of it and have a look at what's realistically attainable. Oh, and if the science is a little bit hectic, in the end, I'll explain it in easy to understand English again. To properly understand how we lose weight, it is important to know that there is a massive difference between fat loss and weight loss, and that the number on a normal house scale cannot give us a proper indication whether you're losing fat, muscle, or water. For example, if you lose 500 grams of fat during a week of hard work, but you also gain 500 grams of muscle during that week, the normal house scale won't show any difference, but you will be much leaner and healthier. The science behind weight loss is beautifully complex, but in a nutshell, it works as follows. Two primary principles should be considered. Fat cells themselves are hormone active, meaning that if they become empty, they will trigger a physiological hormonal response in the body that will tell the brain that it needs to fill those cells up again. Hormones like leptin and ghrelin come into play. These are your hunger hormones, and you can imagine if you empty too many of them too quickly, this will lead to a massive spike in hunger, so much so that you won't be able to control it. You won't be able to stop yourself from overeating and throwing away all your hard work. We see this most often in people who eat very clean and low calories during the week, and then binge over the weekends. The second principle pertains to how fat cells shrink. Yes, you heard it right. Unfortunately, fat cells can never go away. They can only shrink. This is also why it is so important to stop your weight gain before you get to a point where you are very overweight. And I say this because the sad reality is once a fat cell is full, it will duplicate, creating another fat cell ready to store more fat. That new fat cell is also hormone active. And this will go on and on and on. We call this the vicious cycle of obesity. But there's light at the end of this dark tunnel, I promise. So when we lose fat, we empty this fat cell and water becomes a placeholder for the fat, waiting for us to overconsume again and then pump the cell full of fat again. Little does this fat cell know, we have a little secret up our sleeves. We know that the body doesn't want random stores floating around. We know that if we can stay consistent for just long enough, this fat cell will shrink and become dormant. Yep, no more hormones making you hungry, nothing. So what does all of this then teach us about the optimal rate of fat loss? Well, these principles teach us that somewhere during your weight loss journey, you will most likely not see progress. But we know this could most likely just be because there's still water left in the fat cells and they still need to shrink. This does not mean that you're not losing fat. You just can't yet see it on a normal scale. Have you ever heard somebody say, in the beginning, I lost so much weight and it was so fast, but now it's much slower. Science has an answer for this too. Ever heard of being in a chronic inflammatory state? This is most often due to a chronic bad unhealthy diet, a diet high in saturated fats and simple sugars. Now what we must know about inflammation is that it holds back water. Thus, in the first few weeks of rapid weight loss, this could most likely be due to a improvement of that chronic inflammatory state. And the weight loss could be due to, you guessed it, decrease in water weight. And this is what they mean when they say, I lost a lot of water in the first week or two. And this is normally a very good sign. But now we have two principles, one saying that in the first few weeks you will likely lose a lot of weight due to the water drop and another theory saying that you likely won't lose a lot of weight because the fat styles are still full of water. Now which one is it? 
And the truth is, science don't know the answer. The body is complex and beautiful and not every body is the same. Therefore, every body should be looked at as an individual and have a program custom to their body and how they respond. You've probably heard me say something like, if you want exceptional results, then consistency is key. And this really holds true. We aim to create a consistent energy deficit in the body, but not a insane deficit. Just enough to force the body to get its extra energy from the fat stores. And doing all of this while staying healthy. Therefore, because we're not in such a massive calorie deficit, it is crucial to stay very consistent. Then and only then can you expect one major body changes. We call this body recomposition, where you see a decrease in fat percentage and an increase in muscle percentage. And two, you'll keep that weight off. By far the healthiest amount of weight to lose is 400 to 900 grams per week, according to science. This might be more or less initially. But if you can stabilize at the upper end of that, you will have great results. In a time where we are so bombarded with instant gratification, I mean, open up your phone and you'll have the world's knowledge at your fingertips. You can even order food. We should remember that good things take time and Rome wasn't built in a day. The real winners are the consistent ones. Hold in there, if a professional developed your program, you will see results. Now you just have to be patient. Somebody once said, if you want something you've never had, you'll have to do something you've never done. If you are somebody who's always done one size fits all internet programs, do yourself a favor and get a properly personalized program. Your results will be so much better. Weight loss is possible, I promise. So let's summarize all of this in easy to understand English. The normal house scale doesn't show the full picture of fat loss. If you lose too much fat too quickly, you will end up having a unstoppable hunger. Fat cells can never go away, they can only shrink. And if you're consistently in a calorie deficit throughout the whole week and weekend, you can be sure that you will get leaner and lose fat over time. I wish I can go into all the other things that also influence weight changes, but there just isn't enough time. In future videos, I'll touch on how the female menstrual cycle influences weight changes, and how exercise sessions cause inflammation in muscles, and how that influences your weight changes. And there's so much more I wanna talk about. But that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and that you got some good value out of it. And like we always say here in YouTube land, please remember to like and subscribe to this channel. And if you want more information about a specific topic, leave it in the comment section below. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good time. Cheers.